Hey guys, Sig's much here today. I am sitting at the airport and I got nothing better to do today. I'm kind of bored, so I am going to be doing a review, actually, two of them, and both of them are going to be um, yeah, one of them is actually going to be a cigar and one of them is going to be some cigarettes. So I guess I'm not sure which one I want to start out with. I know a cigar video is going to be going for a long time, so... Well, I guess we'll just hop right into it. Uh, today I went and picked up a Romeo and Julieta number no. 3 Cuban cigar from the local smoke shop. I had the number 2's of these, they are a bit longer, and I just dropped it. Like, the number threes are probably like that long or so. But, um, these are made in Cuba. It says it on it. Right down, if I can get it to show. Cuba, right there. Romeo y Julieta. Number three. Number three. And the lighting right now is really bad. But, oh, there we go. Number three. Um, you got the Romeo and Julieta band there. It will also be on the cigar when you get it. Comes in this white um, metal tube. Damn it! With a little twist off cap. And there you can see the cigar in there. Um, I've not had the number threes yet. As I said, I had the number twos. Um, but the package for these looks really nice white and red and black really nice colors together and uh, yeah that's that's the outside guys it's pretty nice looking um, let's get to it um, let's pull out the cigar here oh when you first open up one of these you have to smell the ins like you have to smell it. Oh, these smell fan flipping tastic. So, um, yeah, one second. Just gonna grab my cigar cutter. There it is. But um, yeah, like they smell so good and everything. So, like the smell is phenomenal. And they have a little piece of wood in here. I'm going to try and grab it out of the tube. They have a little piece of wood that has a smell on it as well. I think this wood is supposed to absorb any excess moisture maybe. I don't know, I'm kind of talking on my ass, but I'm assuming that is what it's for. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much the outside let's get to the cigar itself it is a tobacco leaf wrap it is a legitimate cigar from Cuba um, you can see the leaf there if you guys can see that it is wrapped in tobacco leaf there's the end cap there is the inside tobacco oh, oh come on yeah, inside tobacco right there and just like on the tube, as I was showing you earlier, it has the same band. Pretty much. It's got a little more gold in the band on the cigar though. And when you're smoking cigars, it's up to you to take the band, to keep the band on or off. Uh, I don't really have a preference. Sometimes I'll smoke it down till when it gets pretty close. And then I'll take the band off or whatever. But it's really up to you. You don't have to. So, um, yeah. So I'm using my Casa Cabana cigar cutter. It's not a double guillotine. It's just a single. Um, and pretty much what you do. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well. Is there's a line up here on your side of the camera where you can see right there. That's just the end cap. You want to cut right along that line. Right along the line. You don't want to cut off this whole section. You just want to cut off a little bit. 
or if you there are these little things that you can get there they're just like a little punch they put a little hole in the end cap I don't have one of those though so yeah um, damn it I just said I'm um again <laughs> uh, yeah so I'm going to cut off the end cap and we are gonna get going you just put it in there just like that and cut it off and that's what it should look like when you are done cutting it off so um, yeah some people like I've done it in the past where I haven't had a cigar cutter is just take like a knife or a razor blade and cut off the top or you can bite it but that's not really proper so so yeah um, with cigars you either want to light them with sulfur free matches or a butane lighter which I'm going to be doing today I wish I forgot my matches at home so this is the way I gotta do it today so pretty much what you do is you take take your cigar take your lighter you don't want to touch the flame to the cigar but you do kind of want to keep the cigar at a 45 degree angle and as it starts to light you want to rotate it slightly and after a little bit you just kind of want to puff it a little bit like you don't want to inhale these these are really not good for you if you inhale you just pretty much what you do is you just draw the smoke into your mouth taste it uh, you can retrohale it which means that you you take it in your mouth and you exhale it through your nose which gives it a better flavor I'm not very good at doing that but um, yeah or you can just puff it in your mouth taste it for a few seconds and then you blow it out so anyway I'm going to get going I don't know how good this layer is going to work with this because I tried to adjust it sort of and I couldn't really see the flame but let's get going anyways so here we go 45 degree angle your lighter light it and it might take a little bit kinda wanna move the lighter around in a circle pattern that would suck if my lighter ran out of butane before I lit this thing I mean, if you really want to, you can just puff it right away. It does work. And I might have to with this one. All right, so that's pretty much it. It is lit, uh, not super well, I guess, though, but. Yeah, so once you have it lit, you just enjoy it. And when you go to ash it, you don't want to ash it like a cigarette, like when there's like that much ash. You want to wait till it's about like that, and then you ash it. That's the proper way to go. Um, yeah. So you pretty much just want to, just like a straw, just bring it into your mouth. Bring the smoke in your mouth, taste it, and then pretty much exhale it. So that is the way to do that.
So, I am a big fan of cigars. I've loved them for a long time. That's how I started smoking, is cigars. And, yeah, I just, I like them, I enjoy them, they taste good. They go really good with, like, like, kind of a fancier beer or whatever you may be having. They usually go pretty good with the drink. Um, which I don't have a drink on me right now, obviously. But, um, man, I'm having problems with this one. Wait, damn you! Like, properly, I should say, damn you. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, these are just something to enjoy, to sit back, relax, and whatever you're doing, your end of your day or whatever, sit on your patio, have a drink, smoke a cigar, it's just kind of a chill factor. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, I'm just chilling out, because I got nothing to do today, and I don't know if I really want to do too much today, so, yeah. So, yeah, um, it's pretty good. It's got a good taste to it. Um, these do burn quite a while. Since it is a full-on cigar, it's just tobacco in here. It's not the cigarettes with their little cigarette papers and whatever. Um, yeah, it is definitely a good cigar. If I had to guess, this one probably will last about 45 minutes to an hour. That's just a guess. We'll see how realistically it is. I started this at about 10 minutes into the video. As I said, this is going to be a longer video, so yeah. And my car is going to smell like cigars. Oh well, it's a good smell anyways. So, I just don't care. Whatever, it's my car. <laughs> so, yeah. It is burning a little uneven from my lighter. It didn't light it very well. Like it kind of lit half of it, and then I was smoking it a bit, and then I lit the other half better, so... But I'm hoping it will round out, and I'm thinking it is. It looks like it's starting to. But, um, yeah. Oops. Out of your ash. That was not the right thing to do. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This cigar costed me about, um, it was about sixteen or seventeen dollars before tax, which is around average, I guess. It's not the most high quality cigar out there, but it's not the worst either. Um, but they are definitely pretty good. I do like them. Um, I know my buddies that smoke cigars; these are the ones that they usually get, the Romeo and Julietas. So, oh, excuse me. So yeah, all my buddies like these, and I do too. But I think I personally prefer Monte Cristos. And I actually have not had a Cohiba yet. Well, the bigger ones. I had the little clubs, which are like cigarettes, but I haven't had any of the bigger Cohibas. So I might have to do that someday too. Um, this isn't really a review for anything special, I just figured I'd do it. Because why not? <coughs> so.
So, yep, it is definitely evening out now. It's a bit better. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't had one, these are... If you haven't had any cigars or anything and you're looking to try one, I would give these a first try. See if you like them. Or you can get one of the smaller ones. Um, because they are definitely decent cigars. I do like them a lot. I started with the little... Uh, what were they? I actually started with Cohiba Clubs, those little ones. Then I moved to Monte Cristo Clubs. And then I tried a Monte Cristo number 2, I believe it was. I was, I was watching some Ron White at the time, and that's what he always smoked, so I figured, ah, I'll give it a try. It was pretty decent. But, um, yeah. And then, after that, I don't remember which one I tried. I liked all the cigars I've ever tried, except for the Onyx Black ones that I got in the States. I got one of those, and I had it. One day I got sick of the taste, I tried the next day, the taste didn't change at all. So I didn't even finish it, I got maybe, maybe halfway done it, and I just, I couldn't do it anymore. I got rid of that. But, um, nope, all cigars I've ever had, other than that one, I've always smoked right down to the bottom. Because I enjoy it, even the next day. Um, yeah. Oh, pretty much, if you're going to smoke only a certain portion of your cigar and then leave it for the day after or the next time you want to smoke it pretty much what you want to do is once you put it out you want to blow exhale through the cigar out reverse wise so that you get all the smoke that's going to be stored in there and ruin the flavor out so you always have a fresh smoke when you come back it's not going to be stale at all so yeah, I'm just sharing some of my cigar tips with you guys, I guess. And you don't want to light cigars with Zippos or Bix. It's not proper. It's not the proper way. Usually the all wood matches or the butane lighters are the best way. If you use a Zippo, it'll put a twisted kind of crap flavor on your cigars. Or your cigarettes even. I don't recommend it. It's not recommended. So, don't do it, do it the right way, and then you get the full enjoyability of your cigar, so. Yeah, and once again, don't inhale these. They're very, very bad. I think they're equivalent to about 100 cigarettes. So, yeah, I definitely would not recommend inhaling these at all. But again, it's personal choice. But if you're gonna inhale them, you're gonna have some definite health problems later in your life. So, don't do it. Um, the next review I'm going to be doing, I picked these up today as well with the cigar, and I saw them, I saw an ad for this, an actual ad for cigarettes in a nightclub in Vancouver when I went to my buddy Stag. And I'd figured I'd check them out, so I got some Peter Jackson black charcoal filters for you guys. So, yeah, I tried the Pall Mall blacks, now it's Peter Jackson blacks. So, oh yeah, another thing is people. Oh, <laughs> shit, I just ashed it and friggin' ash went in my face. <laughs> people have been asking me to do some cigarettes that I've already done. Um,. Before you ask or do any requests of any cigarettes, look back to my previous videos, do a search on the YouTube is, and make sure I haven't done it already, because I'm not going to redo it if you request it again and I've done it already. It's a waste of my time, so. Only new requests, please. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we are already 19 minutes in this video, and I still have over halfway to go on this cigar, so. Man, I wish I had like a nice beer or something right now. Oh well, I don't. 
But um, yeah, some other stuff that's been going on lately. Just been working, getting some BS from a certain somebody at work, and just hanging out with friends, sort of. Not so much this weekend. Just kind of been chilling at home on the computer a bit, playing some games and whatever, and smoking and. Having some. Oh, another thing you guys should try if you're legal age for this. Is get yourself some Jaeger, Jaegermeister, and some orange juice. Really good combination. Really good. Kind of the sweeter part of the Jaeger and the orange juice really go together. Or I guess the more acidic end of the orange juice. I don't know exactly what I mean, but it goes really good together. Try it out. I'd probably do about eighth Jaeger and then the rest orange juice or eighth to a quarter Jaeger and the rest orange juice. Really good combination. Try it out. So yeah, I'm gonna open my other window so I don't get all smoked out in here. But um, yeah, check out that combination. It's really, really good. I do like it a lot. I had some Jaeger, and that's the only thing I drank it with. So orange juice, it's really good, and orange juice is good for you as well. So there's a plus. Um, what else is new in my life? Oh yeah, for all you people that are wondering what I drive, car-wise, or what vehicles I own, I have two vehicles. Right now, I am currently driving my 1983 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Broham um, two-door coupe, I guess. I've had this car for almost a year now, and the only thing... It has 154,000 kilometers on it, and I got this car for 1400 bucks. 1400 bucks, and the only thing that's really gone wrong with it so far that I've had that actually put money in to fix has been um, the water pump, and I broke the gas line, so I had to fix that, which didn't cost that much either way. It was like 90 bucks for a new water pump and gas line was about 20 or so I think I think it was but um yeah it wasn't expensive at all this car has been very very good it has the velour seats on it um analog clock in the dashboard that's pretty kick ass I love the fact that it's got that I do have an aftermarket stereo in it um, Yeah, the stereo is a Kenwood X995 head, like a head unit on it. Um, the front tweeters are JBL number twos. The rear are Kenwood 4x10s. It's a really odd size for speakers. They're oval. Um, I got an Alpine five channel amp running my tweeters and my rears tweeters and my mids I guess and my sub is running or my sub is a Alpine S series 10 inch sub running off of an MTX 900 watt amplifier uh, in a explode box I need to get a new box because mine is Mine's ported, but it's not ported right, so it kind of does stupid stuff. But, um, yeah, the motor in my car is a 305 V8. It's kind of a smaller one. It's got a three speed automatic, which I wish it was standard with a with the big block that they came with. That'd be kind of cool, but it's not. Um,. Uh, 
Um, I have my, I have another vehicle as well. It's currently in storage. It needs some engine and carburetor work. But um, I have a 1982 Dodge Ram Charger two-wheel drive version with a 318 V8 in it. Three-speed automatic once again. Um, it's copper. And it has, if you guys know the Little Red Express truck, it's kind of a drag truck or whatever. Those rims that are on that truck, I have for my truck that are on it, so it's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty, my truck's all stock. It has 257,000 kilometers on it right now. And the motor is burning oil. And the carburetor is leaking gas out of every gasket that it has in it. So I need... I want to rebuild the motor, put all forge parts in it, um, and then add a turbo or a supercharger. I'm not sure exactly which one yet. Um, it's just some future stuff. I eventually want to do a full rebuild of it, so that'd be pretty cool. It's my hot rod. It's my first truck. I've owned it for almost five years now, so it's been good for me too. I bought it for 2,500 bucks, so. If you guys don't already know, I'm kind of a fan of the older vehicles. I think they're better than what's out today. Not fuel mileage wise, but just... They're not very fuel efficient, but they are life efficient if you're going to get into an accident or something. So, Yeah! Um, that's enough about that. Let's get back to the cigar. It is still tasting really, really good. Um, it's burning slow. Produces a lot of smoke, which is really nice. Um, what else about it? I like the burn time. It's burning pretty good. Um, I like the quality of how the cigar is made, as well as with the tube that it comes in. Really nice. Uh, what else about this one? It's just a really nice cigar. I definitely do recommend you guys pick some, pick one up just to try it if you haven't already. Oh yeah, and also in any of my videos, if you tried the cigarettes I've done, please let me know what you think of them. If you didn't like them, say you didn't like them. If you do, tell me if you do. And if you're yeah I want to know what you guys think of them too so yep I did get a comment on my players rich one somebody was wanting me to do more of the common ones um, you know what no whatever my viewers want and if I see a cool like a different one that I don't think anybody's really heard too much about. That's not a player's one though, because I got like friggin' four requests for that. But things like the Palmo Blacks or whatever, or the the Legends that I did. Like, people weren't requesting those at all. But I just figured I'd do them, because hell, why not? Get the word out that they're out there, and that other people can try it. So, yeah. They're out there, so yeah, why not? <laughs> so, um, yeah, as I said earlier, this is going to be a longer video. Um, if you guys can't tell already, uh, props to you guys that watch the whole thing. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but, um, well, if you don't watch it, then you won't get to see what my ratings are. So, you have to stick around. And as I said, my next review is going to be these Peter Jackson Blacks. So, yeah. And we have a new health warning. Yay. Nobody gives a shit, though. But I'm going to read it anyway, because it's new. And I don't have enough requests from people to tell me not to read them anymore. So, I've only gotten one other person that said that. But, um, 
yeah, so, new health warning, yay! I know how much you guys love health warnings and me reading them out. Not, but, um, yeah, no. Romeo and Julieta, numero three. That's totally wrong. They've been around since 1875 as well, so. Well, they're doing some motorcycle racing down here at the Tradex today. Right here. It's kind of cool. I probably won't go watch, though. <laughs> so, I'm probably going to head home after I do these reviews. And just chill out. Because i got to work tomorrow again. The thing about the weekends is they're not long enough. They should get rid of working on Monday and start on Tuesday. And then everybody work 10-hour shifts. Or hell. Friggin three days and 12 hour shifts isn't even that bad because then you get three days off and if you're gonna go for a 10 hour shift 12 hour shifts are only two um, two more hours which goes by really fast if you're busy at work so whatever Yeah. So, uh, as for like the, these don't give off a buzz. Cigars usually don't because you're not inhaling them. So it's gonna be hard to do that rating. But whatever, we'll figure it out. And for the first time in like a month or more, we actually have kind of a cooler day. It's kind of nice. It's nice to have a little bit of a break, even though I do like the hot weather. It's been really hot lately, so. Summer is finally here, guys. Or was here, I don't know. It's probably gone now, but. We shall see. As you guys can see, you can see the ash on there. You want it about that long, if not even a little bit longer before you ash. And, um... Yeah, then you ash it off, you're good to go again. <coughs> One thing to look for in a good cigar as well, is you want to have a nice, rich, white ash. That means that there's a lot of nutrients in the soil that the tobacco is grown in, and that means it's high quality tobacco. And if you get kind of a, a black, really gray, kind of, kind of like a cigarette, that's not high quality tobacco. Not unless you're buying like friggin' epic, expensive cigarettes or something, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, what else is going on? How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to know that. Um, also, if you guys are gamers at all or anything, and you have Steam, you can add me at, um, my name on there is Bucket45. I'm into, like, Left 4 Dead 2, Grand Theft Auto 4... Team Fortress 2, Day of Defeat, Counter-Strike, Gary's Mod, Supreme Commander, um, Test Drive Unlimited 2, um, as soon as it comes out, Grand Theft Auto 5, it's going to be awesome. And yeah, so you can just add me at Bucket45 on Steam, and I would love to play some games and shit, it's always fun. And if you just want to chat in general, you can add me at Sig's Much on Skype as well. I haven't Skyped anybody in a long time. I used to Skype with um, G Unit Sig reviews all the time, but he's not making reviews anymore, and I haven't really talked to him lately. He's been busy, so 
busy working and doing whatever the hell else he's doing so and I really wish that he would start making videos again but he just keeps getting flagged and he's done so it's really too bad I miss you man you made great videos and I'm sure the YouTubies the YouTubians also miss you so Yeah, um, there's pretty much not much else to say, We're really, I mean, work-wise, everything's good, friend-wise, everything's good, just single again, so just enjoying my time that I have with friends and whatever, and not really ready to go look for somebody else quite yet, but, nah, I'm sure sometime in the future. Um, we will see. But yeah, just kind of hanging with friends and just having a good time, so. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's a little itchy. So, yeah, we are already 36 minutes into this video. And look how much I still have left to go. I still got like that much left to go. That much left to go. Now you can see my other finger. <laughs> oh, I probably won't go that much. I'll probably go down to like here. So I got that much left. But, um, yeah. Oh, if also any of you guys live in, like, the mainland, Fraser Valley area, and you guys know of any cigar bars or anything like that, please let me know, because I would love to go check one of those out and just whatever, and that'd be pretty sweet. Let's go there and just chill out, whatever. I'm, I'm pretty chill, so I just like to kind of do stuff like that. Which is kind of cool, but um, I wish we had one in Abbotsford, but we just don't. Not that I know of, anyways. And for those that don't know what a cigar bar is, it's pretty much a place where you go and they have a whole selection of cigars and like wines and drinks and stuff. And sometimes a lot of music playing or whatever and you just go there you have a cigar have a drink or however many you want and then if you want to just keep smoking cigars you just keep going there or while you're there just keep buying more ones to try out or something and just go there and have a good time so I would love to give that a try even if there's one like around Levington or somewhere in the in Belling or in Washington let me know because I live pretty close and I would love to go try it and I'm doing a trip with my buddies down in down to Levington coming up in October so for their Oktoberfest or something down there yeah it's Oktoberfest so yeah I am going to start rating this even though I'm not completely done. Um, packaging, really sharp looking. Nice red on it. Red, white, black letters with a bit of gold I guess. Really nice looking. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Fantastic. So the cigar design itself. Nice tobacco leaf nice tobacco it's nice and white um, it's firmly packed but not too firmly that you can't draw through it the band looks really nice 10 out of 10 that way flavor or taste <coughs> oh god that burned like a motherfucker 
I tried to do the retro hail thing and that Woo! That was that came out of nowhere. Holy fuck. That one burned my nose. I haven't done that in a long time, so it's not used to it anymore. Not cigar wise anyways. But um taste. It's pretty decent, not the best I've had. I'm gonna give that probably a nine out of ten. It's alright. Um Burn time. Cigars pretty much always burn a long time. So that's going to be for this one. Of the cigars I've tried, this one is going to probably be a. Give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Price wise, pretty reasonable as well. $17 for one of them. Um, and you get quite a bit too. Uh, price wise, I'm probably going to give around $17 before tax. Is. Mm, I'm going to give it a. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It is decent. Buzz wise, as I said earlier, cigars don't really give you a buzz because you're not inhaling, so you're not really getting any of the nicotine in it. It's just pretty much for soul, pure enjoyment, well, soul enjoyment. Um, and buzz wise, I can't really say. So, um, there is no rating buzz wise because they don't really have one. Uh, Taste wise, I'm some like one of the things I can kind of pick out from it is it is like just a slight has a little slight bit of spicy kind of flavor to it. It's not hot spicy at all, just like just a little bit, a little bit. Um, I can get like a nice kind of woody, like kind of oaky taste from it. Um, which is actually really nice um... yeah jeez louise, friggin wind's knocking ash in here like crazy what the hell is that? it's a leaf a random leaf in my car, what the fuck yeah but um... yeah I guess I'm not gonna make this video go too much longer some other guys to check out is um, Tom's Sig Reviews, RJ the Smoker, Shigdy Joe 69, The Doctor Sig Reviews, Smokin' Revs. Check them out, really good cigar reviews. Uh, yeah, check those guys out. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, send me a message of any uh, recommendations or comments that you have, questions, anything like that. Once again, if you're going to make a request, check through my videos, make sure I haven't done it already. And, um, yeah, make sure you guys do all that good shit. I am just going to finish this one up, and then I'm going to get up my Peter Jackson Black Menthol, or, sorry, not Menthol, what a dumbass. Charcoal filtered, king size ones up, so. Yeah, uh, keep it real, you guys. Thanks for checking out this Romeo and Julieta number three review. And I will be back shortly with my, as I said, Pierre Jackson Blacks. So, see you later, guys. Peace out. Bye.